Okay, here's another review type question for double integrals. In particular, this example is interested in calculating the centroid of a region. So think of the centroid as like the center of, of a two-dimensional shape, the center of area, if you like. Um, in higher dimensions, you can talk about you know, center of mass and things like this. So I've got some region. I'm asked to sketch uh, the region omega. Write down the, the value of this double integral. And then using these formulae for the um, coordinates of the centroid, calculate the um, uh, x bar and y bar. OK? So let's have a sketch of the region. x is between these two uh, parallel lines, minus 1 and 1 and y is between this curve and um, this curve. So what I like to do with these problems is sketch the bounding curves first. Okay, so sketch y equals root all of this. Sketch y equals 0. Sketch x equals 1. x equals minus 1. Okay, so... All right, well, x between minus 1 and 1, that's going to be something like these two curves. And let's just consider the curve y equals root 1 minus x squared. Well, if I square both sides, I'm going to get something like x squared plus y squared equals 1. So it's kind of like a circle with radius 1 and center at the origin. But all I really want is those points where y is non-negative. So it's just the top half of this circle. OK? Now y equals 0, that's just the x-axis. All right, so our omega is just this uh, section here. So you can think of this as y equals 1 minus root x squared. Uh, sorry, 1 minus y equals root 1 minus x squared. Okay, so we've sketched our um, region. Let's just confirm that though. Let's draw what you can see in this description y is between two non parallel lines, right? So if, let's say I draw a vertical line. I can see that. This line enters my omega at 0, well that, that's OK, and then it leaves at root, uh, root 1 minus x squared, which is that. If I move it from side to side, I need to go between minus 1 and 1 to, to um, tr uh, cover the whole region. So that's where these um, bounds come from. So that's good. OK, write down the value of this double integral. Well, of course you could set up the double integral and try to integrate it, but of course there's a better way here. We know that the double integral of just the constant function 1 over a region is just the area of the region. Okay, so you can see here I've got like a semi-disk with radius 1. So here it's going to be pretty, um, pretty easy. It's going to be a half pi times the radius squared. Well, r is just 1 here, so it'll just be pi on 2. You have to cross the that one Well, you can, you can use it. You can, well, you can, if you want to, put all the working down for the double integral. But when it says write down the value, that's a pretty clear indication. Okay, so you really don't even need, you know, you don't even need that those lines. All right, write down, write down the value. All right. Okay, the on to question uh, uh, on to the part three. The formulae or formula for the centroid is here. Now. We're asked to calculate the coordinates of the centroid, and we're given a hint saying use symmetry. Right? So if you look closely, there's a line of symmetry along the y-axis. 
Okay, so the center of, um, oh, I guess the centroid or center of area must lie on that y axis. Okay, so what does that tell you? That the x bar must e the x bar must equal zero because the centroid must lie on the y on the y axis. So so by symmetry, the um, uh, point. Uh, the centroid must lie on the y-axis, so the x component must be zero. So for this one, all we really need to do is use this. Now we've already calculated what's in uh, what's on the bottom here. It's pi on two. So all we really need to do is calculate this top bit. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. Okay, so using this representation, what I want to do is use these limits of integration in my top double integral, and then I can just divide everything by pi on 2, because that's uh, this double integral here. So if I divide by pi on 2, what I'm actually doing is multiplying by 2 on pi. So I'm going to just save a bit of space and write it down this way. Now my limits of integration are going to be minus 1 to 1, 0 to root 1 minus x squared, and um, so y is just here, and dA in this case will be uh, dy dx, because you want the constants on the outside and, and any um, functions on the inside. So y is between two functions, so that's what, that's what we have. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You could, you could switch to polar coordinates, okay? But I'm not going to do that here. I, I, I just did an example on polar coordinates, so I'm just going to show you how to do it without polar coordinates. Okay, so you do the inside integral first. Okay, so integrate everything here with respect to y, holding x fixed. So this will become a half y squared. Now notice, if it's a half y squared, when you plug in that, the square root sign is going to disappear. So that seems acceptable to me. Um, we don't, you know, you don't um, need par uh, polar coordinates here. So it's going to become a half um, y squared. So when I sub in the first one, I'll get a half bracket 1 minus x squared. And when I sub in that, I'll get 0. So I'll get something like this. Okay? So now all I really need to do is do this final integration. You can see that the two and the, uh, the twos are going to cancel off here. So if I integrate one with respect to x, I'll get x. I do the other into, uh, part, it'll become this. So all I need to do now is sub in my values. And if I do that, I should get 4 on 3 pi. So what is the centroid? Well, it's just 0, 4 on 3 pi.